So let's deal with this word specifically about the president. Here's my thoughts on it, okay? They're saying in March. Oh, um, I want to say I have not seen this. Uh, what's going to begin to happen next, I believe, is going to be a populist movement. Now, if you've been watching me last week, I did some homework on some of the things I saw. I believe that there's going to come uh, a new voice. Now, I began to see a new freedom technology. Okay. Now, I don't know who's going to bring this forward, um, but it could be the former president. He might actually do something like that. I think that would be more powerful than him even going back in right now. And the reason I'm saying this is people are talking about this word, and honestly, I'm going to put a big old question mark by it. But if at this point, this does not happen the way they're saying it will happen, if it does not happen, there needs to come a better hermeneutic. There needs to come a correction. There's going to come a freedom tech one way or another. Now, will it come through the president? Maybe. Uh, will it come through... Um, uh, Elon and Don Jr. and all these people, this freedom technology that could come forward. I believe there's going to be a fresh social media voice. Um, I, I don't know what's going to happen with some of the, the things that have gone down, but it could even be, and I have a strange sense that the, the chokehold could get very strong on social media, and then I see an, a window. Now, pray with me about this, because I see a window in social media where because of this freedom tech that could come forward uh, of, of making freedom of speech cool again, <laughs> let's make freedom of speech great again, right? And you realize that could begin to happen. Social media, it could actually, you could see things like, you know, Facebook and Twitter and all these different ones that have been the big, the big conglomerate companies that are coming out. They could actually begin to release some of their stranglehold and let people talk freely again. That could happen. I know it's going the other way right now, and maybe it'll never happen, but I have a sense that over this, there'd be enough pressure from this that it would make the market competitive again, where they'd say, my goodness, if they're doing this, we better get with the program and start treating people better, right? What I have seen, and I've said this way before, and people actually criticized me about this. What I have seen, I'll bring this over to here. What I have seen is during the election cycle, I said, I don't know. And I'd even put out titles like, if he wins, if the president wins, and all this stuff happens, uh, who knows what's gonna happen here? And I kept seeing him lose through a voting scenario with technology. I've and seen two different scenarios. The Lord showed me two different scenarios with President Trump, and I'm gonna talk about it right now. I'm gonna go on record. The Lord showed me two different scenarios. I woke up from a dream, and he did not win the election. I had a dream about it. I saw it wake up, and the Lord showed me there would be a ploy, and it involves technologies, another one's coming, that involves technology that's going to try to debunk Trump or to stop him, meaning debunk them according to their standard, not according to the real truth, but debunk him according to what's coming in regards to hijacking the election. I've been praying against uh, technological things that are going to try and stop him, the artificial intelligence algorithms that are going out that are going to try and siege and, and, and stop the election and uh, hijack it. And I don't know. I woke up and the Lord showed me a dream where he lost the election. I saw some things where there was negativity coming towards the president and he could lose the election. And I kept seeing him lose through a voting scenario with technology. And I shared that for a long time. I think we're going to get past March. And either way, how this goes, I think we're into a populist wake-up call. And then what I think is happening is 2022. I believe in 2022, I think that we're going to have another opportunity. And as I keep saying, an opportunity to change this narrative one more time. I think there's going to come a strong argument against uh, the false voting narrative and all this. And then if we begin to have a win in 2022, I think we have a very good opportunity in 2024. And maybe, just maybe, and people have been upset with me when I say this, maybe either he or the one he anoints or blesses will get in here. Okay? Now, it could be Trump, but it could be uh, another one carrying the name Trump. It could be someone with his brand and his, his blessing on it. And this could begin to happen here. I began to see this, and it's kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. So it's kind of like, you know, a hurricane has the eye of the storm, the eye of the storm. I believe right now, this is where we are in this storm. But I believe the eye of the storm, the wall that's right here, this wall is approaching. The wall is approaching the peacefulness here and the, the hurricane's moving. I believe we just went through this part of it and I believe we're in this eye of the storm and I think we're gonna go through a whole nother part of the hurricane. But I have great, listen to me, hope. Man, do I have hope over this. I began to see this. 
Now, it could be it has many meanings. It could be this is talking about England and the, the people of Wales. It could be it's talking about, you know, all kinds of stuff here. Now, I just know this. I saw the word Wales or whale, and I thought, what is this about God? And then uh, I, I got an unction, and I went over to, like, you know, looking things up on, on, online and, and checking into things, and I said, God, what is this about whales, a, a new whales? What's this all about? And there's, did you know that they just discovered in the last few days a new, get this, and hold on, I have an interpretation, just so you don't think I'm crazy, um, a new species of whale uh, that is absolutely American. They found it in the Gulf. Whales or whale represents, uh, and, and they just discovered this in the last few days, like a species they didn't know existed. And it's specifically American. And the whales, when you're looking at this in a new species that's been hidden this whole time, and the fact that it was specifically American, God confirmed a word to me about business leaders. Okay. Now, business leaders... Um, whales is a, is a symbolic word for people that are worth a lot. They're worth a lot of finance. They're worth a lot of things and all this. And I believe this, there's a hidden level of business leaders that's going to come out. It's almost like they're a dying species or they're an endangered species, but there's still new species in that small group. And the Lord began to speak to me because he showed me. Now, if you've been watching for, for months now, I've been talking about how business leaders will stand up and begin to fight forward. Wales represents business leaders. That's what I'm seeing. Business leaders. Let me give you the interpretation. Guys like Mike Lindell. Guys like Elon Musk. Guys that are going to stand up. And if you've been watching this program for a long time, you realize I'm talking about there's going to be business leaders that induce revival. There's going to be business leaders that do unconventional breakthrough. There's going to be business leaders that do it. And the Lord began to speak to me again today and said there's whales out there that they're a hidden group. There's species of whales that have not been discovered and they just found it in the news. So, But I'm seeing this unfold right now and I believe this is what's happening. And so you're seeing this type of thing. I believe this is what's going to happen going forward. I believe there's going to be a populist movement. You're going to start to see business leaders standing up and crying out in the marketplace and bringing revival because the institution of the church has failed in many areas. God's giving us an opportunity for a 2022 shakeup, something that could begin to happen here. Now, could we forfeit this? Absolutely. Could we begin to see a breakthrough? Absolutely. But I believe what really is happening, and this is my take on it, again, he might, maybe the prophets are dead on and he's going back in in March. Man, would that be exciting. But I got to tell you, I haven't seen it. And so that being said, I believe what's happening is there's going to begin to be a stronger voice coming out, a populist uprising, things will begin to happen. And I think that there's going to come a voice to the nation like never before that will not be gagged and silenced. And I think, I think that's what's coming.